All right, hello. So I was looking all over the place to figure out how to uh, make a program in assembly for the Commander 16. I, I like to, to watch the 8-bit guy and stuff. So so I was doing this Commander 16. I've recently been doing X64 assembly programming uh, and was interested to figure out how to program on this. I went on to the Facebook group and I didn't really find uh, any like straight strict this is how step by step how to get a program running on this thing so after a lot of reverse engineering and checking out other projects I figured it out so I thought I'd share a very simple very easy getting started so the first thing that you should do is learn a little bit of 6502 programming it took me like maybe 10 minutes to go through this page and like learn the whole the whole, everything that they were talking about in here so uh, this link will be in the description it's the easy 6502 uh, tutorial and they have little simulator series so you can assemble and run and and uh, debug and check out like the memory monitor and stuff so it's pretty great um, another tool that you want to use is if you would just put uh, simulator.html at the end of that is just the simulator so you can come in here and do some testing um, so that's that the next thing is uh, if you need to download the commander 16 obviously if you want to run this program on it so just find it on github I'll have a link in the description you want to download this emulator and also check out these docs here so the emulator just go over to releases and download this for your platform uh, and then the docs you can you can find uh, some interesting stuff in here like um, I think there's like a uh, what is it called it's like a memory a memory map here which tells you that uh, like what the the memory ranges are and what they're used for and where your program code starts and all that kind of stuff um, I think that's like down in here basic program variables available for the user that kind of stuff so that's all inside of those docs um, and I'm using the Acme assembler which I'll also put a link in the description page looks like this search for source forge just download this for this is on Windows I'm sure there's one for the other platforms I'm using Windows obviously so uh, just just download that guy and then drop it inside of a folder for you to uh, to, to assemble your code with so here inside of my program files I have a commander x16 folder which is where I put the emulator and then I have an Acme folder in there which is where I put the um, the assembler in here so that's just my layout, just program files, and then that's where I dumped it. Um, ignore this. We're going to get to that in a second. And this is the guy I was debugging to figure out how to make this thing work. I was looking at the binary data for it. So good enough. So <clears throat> once you have all of this set up, um, you just need to uh, write a program and run it inside the emulator. So here's your emulator. Uh, so in this simulator, you can type MON to look at the monitor, and what we're going to do is we're going to alter the uh, a um, value at the address. If you press D, um, you can see the uh, the address uh, values. So you do D, and then we're going to change uh, 08F0. In this case, you'll notice it's zero right now, which is great because we want it when you want to see it change. So. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to write a little program and I just have the program pre-made here it's pretty simple uh, you have a star equals and then the address of 801 here which is uh, this is hexadecimal obviously because the that's just the dollar sign it's an address so this is address for basic um, I'm not a hundred percent like uh, <coughs> I was born in 1990. I never really got to mess with the Commodore 64, so this is apparently the Commodore 64 like basic address for, and we can use it to invoke some kind of uh, invoke our program. Um, this byte array. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. Basically, I looked around and I found just this segment, but it was missing this 0108 segment at the beginning, which you need. Um, I, I don't know if these are instructions or if these are just like telling you what addresses to go to or if this is just uh, the the instructions to, that need to be invoked after you go into the basic uh, portion of the code. Not 100 percent sure. Anybody knows? Let me know. Just leave a, leave a comment. But if you put these guys, your program will run. And this is a very very small program. We're just gonna load into a the value of nine uh, in hexadecimal, which is the same as decimal. It's gonna be nine. And then we're going to store A into that address we were talking about, 08F0. Now, to compile this, uh, or to assemble this, I have a, a build bat file, 
where I just put the address of the executable for Acme. Um, so I just put the address. I set the CPU to 6502. Uh, I saw that online. It seems to work. Um, and uh, the, that's the same architecture that we're going to be building for. Uh, and then we set our out file. We're just going to call it hello world.prg. And then we have the file we want to assemble, which is just going to be our main.asm. You can make a make file for this somewhere else, but we're just doing one file. That's overkill. We're just going to compile this one file. Um, I have this run.bat, but we're not going to use it. We're just going to we're just going to work with building and then seeing how we can run the program. So make sure you got this assembly written down. I will put this on a gist or in the description or something so you, you can kind of copy the sequence because uh, the sequence is not obvious on what's going on. Um, I have to do more research to figure that part out. So once you have all this stuff, uh, just run that, that bat. So let's see. I've got this folder here that I'm working in. I'm just, just a random folder on my desktop. Um, so I'm going to do build, and that's going to generate my hello world.prg. And we're just going to drop that hello world PRG into the commander 16 folder just so that it can find it when running it. So we're going to open that guy up, and now we're going to do monitor. We're going to check out that memory address again just to like be sure it's zero. There it is. It's zero. And we're going to, you can press X and then enter to exit this. Uh, if you saw the 8-bit guy talking about this, he, he already kind of explained that. So now we're going to run our program um, and see that that value is 9. So we're going we're gonna to do load quote hello world dot prg which is the name of our file that we have inside of our folder here, hello world prg. And then we're just going to hit enter, and it's going to say it's ready, and we're going to type run to run the program. And we were just in the monitor, so it opened up the monitor again, which is great. I, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure why, but it's great. It works. So now I can uh, say um, d08f0, and we'll see that the value there is 9, uh, which is exactly what we want. And I feel like it's because I open that pro that monitor <clears throat> when I run the program, it goes back to it. I'm not 100% sure why, uh, because if you just were to go in here and you just run the program, load hello world.prg, um, run, you'll notice that it just clears the screen. It doesn't go to monitor. So you just do mod d 8 f 0 and there's our value 9 again. So uh, that's just how you can get started uh, in, in assembly and get this running. It might not be 100% perfect, 100% accurate. I've never worked in 6502 before, um, just x86 and uh, and x64 um, assembly programming. So this is all new to me uh, and, and a lot of fun. So hopefully this helps uh, you guys be able to just get an assembly programming running on this thing so you can start messing around with stuff. Um, because I noticed it was uh, a lot of people are asking how to get it started, but there was no solid tutorial on like get this, get this, get this, write this exact code. Here's this weird sequence you have to add in, and uh, then you can start running your program. So uh, again, if anybody has any answers to the parts that I said were weird, mainly this portion here, what is this sequence? Why are these first two bytes uh, uh, important here? Uh, what were these for? Um, and the remainder bytes because uh, <clears throat> I'm interested in the first two because the documentation says make sure you have your header, your two byte header. I'm assuming that's what that is. So anybody that knows, let me know. And uh, you know, now that I'm looking at it, it's actually here. Zero eight is right here, and zero one is right here. So, uh, and since this reads uh, 16, 16 uh, bits, is it, yeah, since this reads two bytes at a time for its addressing. And it reads the right hand side before the left hand side. You'll know that whenever you look at that uh, 60, easy 6502 tutorial. Um, I think that's just what that is. It's right there. It's saying do something with the basic command and then this sequence over here. Um, so I might even modify some of the stuff to see what all is important here. But uh, yeah, that seems to work. Let me know if you have any questions. I don't know much beyond this because I'm still playing around with it. And uh, if you have any answers to any of my other questions that I was saying, please let me know. Thank you very much, and uh, happy coding.